So welcome back again to Up and Running with OpenSword. In our last video, we just looked at the interface and some things that is uh, available here in OpenSword. As, as you can see, there is no much about it, but there are heaps and heaps of things hidden inside this video editor. So let's get started. So here in our last video, we just uh, tried out with this one. So to remove this on the project window or the project file, simply right click and, uh, and remove the file from the project file. Now. Let's import some uh, clip onto the project file. So, as usual in any other video editor, simply go to the clip and click and drag and drop it here. Just simply click and drag and drop it, or you can select a couple of them and drop it. That's another way. There are four different ways. So one way is that, another way is right click and import the file into the project uh, file here. That's another way. Another way you come to the plus sign here, click and import another clip or file or audio or whatsoever into this and another way is come here and import the file and let's go to import an image to so you can see that uh, here it shows all of this uh, file that is available in the project file you can change this to video audio and image here so let's go back to show all to place this simply click and drag and drop it onto the timeline again uh, it comes in layers so anything that is above will be in picture in picture so that's how we can use open short um, importing videos and placing them onto the timeline and to cut that simply um, place the marker to where you want to and as again i have um, set this according to the key that i want so i set the razor tool to x so simply hitting x and i have this razor tool and i can simply cut that or trim that and then to go out of the razor tool simply hit the same key again so i think it's the same in all other keys so you can do that so i'm going out again so now we have two clip when you right click you have the properties of this clip here a different things menu that is here we will look at that in the videos to come on up and running with the open sword and uh, yeah that's how we can trim the clip so let's undo this undo is control z one thing about open sword is um let's say let's place this um, nice image here on there and uh, let's just uh, resize this so in the beginning i move my marker to somewhere here and i resize this and then i place this in the one of the corners somewhere here now why i'm doing this because right in open sword anything that you do to the clip it's automatically keyframe so let's see this so you can see we resize this it's automatically keyframe so when we right click and go to the properties you can see the uh, different properties that this clip have are all here which we're going to look at this in the videos to come on up and running with open sword and you can see in the scale here so if i move the marker to the beginning and play this you can see you can see the number moving there and that means that the uh, it being animated and also we have moved the location so you can see the location has been blue by highlighting it here and the uh, scale as well so that's uh, some few things about um, open source and hope you um enjoyed it and uh, we'll come back again for another part of this video up and running with open source see you again next time